Hello, Louisiana Beer Reviews. Oh, let me adjust this a little bit. Man, this rain. Yeah, uh, it's going down kind of sideways. Hmm. Hmm. Colt 45 High Gravity. This is their high gravity beer. Is there a problem? All right. Um, <laughs> used to be called Colt 45 High Gravity Malt Liquor. Now they're just calling it High Gravity Lager. Crisp and smooth with a bold flavor, Colt 45 High Gravity stands alone. The real American classic lager since 1963. Every time. They drop the works every time. That's, that's mm. kind of... Or when Billy Dees did the commercials. Yeah, I guess they figured that's not really too, every time. too cool what they were implying. Okay. 473 milliliter or one pint, 16 ounces, lager. This best by date is for uh, three months from now, so that's good. And um, I don't know where it's from. All right, let's try it. You talk all you can talk about it. I think this must have been put on the market in the last 25 years, no sooner than that, because I have literature from the company that was 25 years ago and it didn't list this. So it couldn't have been that old. I'm thinking probably around 2005 it hit the market. That's, I think that's a good guess. Same year that they introduced Schlitz BSL High Gravity. And the reason I'm saying that is because there was the same ownership. Pabst Brewing owned both companies by that time. Okay, we'll have to wait on the final solution of the pouring problem. Uh, I know what's going to happen. You'll get it all. Okay. No. Not, not happening. Okay, so the appearance is kind of a medium to dark. Yeah. Golden color. Deep gold. Yeah, it's got an off-white eggshell foam head on it. It's sticking around a little bit. I think if we had better lighting it'd be more of a bright white. I don't think it's off white. No, it really do. I mean it's raining outside. Yeah, it's we making it poor light in here. Yeah. You're Somebody's right. Somebody's got old lights in here. <laughs> That's true. Alright. Brags about it. No, don't brag about it. I admit to it. Okay. Hmm. Interesting aroma. Very interesting yeah. It's a kind of a strong barley malt. And maybe corn nuts. And this would be uh, considered to be an American Hellespont. Kind of. An American adjunct double Hellespock. Okay. Doppel Bach. Helles Doppelbach. Sorry, say it back. Helles Doppelbach. Double Bach means extra strong beer and then Hellas is bright as opposed to Optimator which is dark. I'm gonna go ahead and taste it. You can see the smell of everyone. Well, like I said, it smells like corn nuts. You know those things you can buy in a bag? Yeah. What else? It's got that, that twang to drink and it's like earth. Yeah, because I think that's the alcohol Rolf. coming coming in to play. It's now the can says crisp and smooth. Now I don't know about how I guess it's crisp in the, the finish. A the, bold flavor? Okay, I guess the it's the line says I'm empty. Oh yeah, that's right. Ish. Don't you want some? I drank some earlier. Oh, oh not today. <laughs> I drank some earlier. I mean earlier this week. Actually, I did. What today? No, it wasn't today. No, today. This one does not hide the alcohol. Not at all. Um, it's very alcohol forward. It's kind of real good. Like balance to the flavor, you know. You know it's adjunct. You you could taste the graininess. You could taste obvious rice and corn in this. Yeah, I don't think they use rice. They're probably using just corn and probably corn syrup, probably malt extract, maybe hop extract. I I, I don't know that. 
They're probably just jacking up the amount of malt. Then you, then you can't really speak on it if you don't know that. That's true. But I think it's a good guess. Okay. Um, do you know for a fact they're not using rice? Or do you think they're not using rice? I think they're not using uh, rice. Okay. Um, they're using rice. Who makes this? Body's high, medium. Well, it says in a can, G. Heilman Brewing Company. I think that's owned by Paps, okay? It's not. It's so it's Paps using rice in PBR? I don't know if they use rice in any of their beers, to tell you the truth. Hmm. I think they just use corn syrup. And as they call it, brewer syrup. Um, I mean, it's, it was pretty in the... I guess it was moderately priced when I bought it in Florida this week. Can't get it in Louisiana. We can get Pat. We can get Colt 45. We can't get double malt. Sparingly. Yeah, sparingly. We can't get the double malt, which we've never seen around here. No. Uh, so we know for sure there's three Colt 45 products on the market. The original, this one, the high gravity, the double malt, and the people in Canada tell me that they get an 8% Coke 45. I think that just their regular Coke 45 is 8%. They're, they don't get the 5.6 option, which is really good. Yeah, I agree. I like that one. Now look. Oh, there's a little green apple. I'm noticing I didn't pick that up when I did my solo review, my revisit. So that's going to hurt the score a little bit relative to what I did before. But I don't score beers on what I did in the past. I score more what I'm chasing at the present moment. Um, I still like it a lot. If I was looking to drink a strong 8.5% lager beer, and honestly, I'm not looking to drink that. I don't really like them. They're too strong. They're too, to me, rough and hard to take. I'm not saying they're badly made. I think they're well made. It's just too strong for me. I don't, I don't, I, I can't take them, you know? I can't see sitting back drinking a lot of this. Yeah, I'm I was, I'm sharing this. I was gonna say the same thing. This is really strong. The flavor's okay, and it's slightly rough, but not really rough, rough. No, it's not rough, rough. Earthquake so, is rough, 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 rough. Ugh. That other stuff, you like that hurricane stuff. No, Hurricane is smooth. Um, I'm talking about Earthquake, 10%. I saw that on the road trip. And the pineapple flavor one, I wouldn't advise getting it. And the black cherry, which I would not advise getting. I wouldn't advise getting any of those flavored beers. Well, now, they, they just taste like Kool-Aid and alcohol with malt. Oh, Wait, here we go. All right. Man, I might have to hit the road. I might flood out here. I doubt that. Um, it'll pass. That storm will pass. Um, might be 40 days and 40 nights from now. But all right, no. Um, I like this. I'm not going to go as high as I did in the the solo revisit. I think the Schlitz Gold Bowl is probably better. But that's debatable, honestly. I don't think the recipe for either one is probably particularly different one from the other, although it probably is a different recipe, but uh, very similar. Oh, uh, well, you know, um, this is a good thing to share. Even with the pint can, share it. Don't drink it alone. Um, it's just too much to take. I'm going to score it. This time, I'm going to drop it to 92. I think it's excellent. In the style, the strong water, but it's not a style for me. Not a style for me. I'm gonna score this too. I'm gonna give it an 88. I'm gonna give it a B plus. I think it's pretty good. It's not excellent. Uh, it's a little off. Off. Yeah. For my taste. Well, I did say green apple. That's yeah. Off. Yes. A couple things. That and. It's, it's just heavy. I mean, it's, it's, just, it's just a heavy beer. It's a heavy hitter. Uh, right. Not, not one of my really great ones in the point. I'm going to pick Colt 45 standard 5.6 every time over this. Mm -hmm. 
every time I'm going to pick that over this because it's more I would suited for me. The, I would I would pick a uh, gold bull over this. Um, maybe I don't know. That one's just the same like this. It's just too heavy. It's too much. It's too. Uh, it's got full. a better flavor profile. Uh, I don't know if I agree with that. Okay. You don't have to. But I'd have to do a side by side. The only problem with doing a side by side, then I'd be stuck with two of them. I'd have to drink. I don't want to do that. Okay. Um. So. I don't. Then we'll have to do a duo side by side. Yeah, I don't even, yeah, now that, <laughs> now that I would do because then it would be complicated, but uh, yeah, then I would do that. Yeah, yeah. It would be less to have to drink. All right, so anyway, just going on. So, laissez les bon temps, les, with some qualifications on that, and uh, we're going to end this review by saying, y'all go to whoever's producing this right now, and I think it's Molson Coors, Miller Brewing, and... Uh, Take a tour, and you're not gonna see this when you take the tour because they probably do it at night. I said PBR did this. The, the yeah, but Paps pays people to make their beer. <laughs> they were talking about, well, we might reopen our brewery in San Antonio, but nothing ever happened. They paid Miller to make it. It's cheaper. Hmm. Yeah. You don't remember the big lawsuit when they were suing Miller, claiming that they were trying to uh, produce reduced amounts to try to hurt them. And then Miller said, Molson Coors, meaning them, said, we weren't doing that, but you're going to get to the back of the line because we're going to do our own beers first. You know, so it's well, So they didn't actually need to make their own beers. Got right, a contract. Paps is a contract company. They pay people to make their beer. Yeah. Mm. Thanks for watching, folks. Drink better beers. <laughs>